seats in the car. After force of habit finds me worrying for a moment that I'd failed to leave you a crack in the window. I have found that in these early days of loss, the forgetting can sting as much as ruminating on the absence. I keep forgetting you're gone. Each time it's like picking up a scab before the skin underneath has healed. And I leak again. Oh, constant companion. Thousands of stitches from your thrown coat still line the back seat. Your very favorite place to sit and watch for threats and familiars both. A part of me never wants to clean the parts of you left behind. Returning home, I play the music loud to negate the lack of your contented sigh. And after parking, I tread where you once led me, pining for the weight of your eager pulling. As ever, something inside me detects a ghostly presence in the driveway, but I cannot hear if you are delivering one of your fierce warnings to the things I cannot see. Are you there now? there now? Among them, waiting. I ponder this out loud as I look to the night sky and distant church bells pronounce your name in ringing couplets. Ringing couplets. Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. I can see your spots among the stars, and the moon is not merely full, but surely near bursting, as if to echo the overflow of grief I've yet to spill. It stings my throat and makes me dizzy. I look into the house, at the hardwood floor upon which you could never find purchase, resulting in your merry impromptu dance. There is no end to the list of the things you did to make me smile. And I cannot wait until my search for you is over and we can laugh together again. My soul dog, you were with me for only a few years, yet we've known each other forever. forever. I miss you. And I will find you again. You're not just an animal. You're an angel. Angel. You're an angel.